threatened, and today, nature's fury was felt there once again. Shortly before 7 this morning, fire broke out in the animal house at the Springbrook Nature Center. Several animals were killed, including a long-eared owl, a screech owl, a tarantula spider, and a number of birds. Many did survive, including 11 species of snakes, several turtles, and rodents. Authorities believe an electrical malfunction caused that fire. The Nature Center is open to the public, is visited frequently by school and camp uh, groups to study animals native to the area. A new Several of the center's prized animals include... Bath. Most, but not all. The tornado did destroy nearly two-thirds of the trees in a nature area which borders homes in that neighborhood. The nature area in Coon Rapids is called Spring Brook, and we mention its past troubles because tonight it is in trouble again. An early morning fire broke out in the Nature Center's building, which houses hundreds of animals. Many of them, large and small, perished. Mike Strand reports. It was shortly before 7 this morning when fate struck a second crushing blow to the Nature Center as smoke engulfed the building and fire raced through a storage area behind several display cages. Somewhere in the electrical system, we know that that's where it started, but um, what exactly caused it, we don't know. The building's sprinkler system prevented a sure disaster, but wasn't enough to save a stable of animals from smoke inhalation. Destroyed were a prized long-eared owl, a screech owl the center was helping to heal, and a North American kestrel, otherwise known as a sparrowhawk. To get a couple more birds like that that we can train and do that will take us probably a year. Nearly all of the center's reptiles, some 14 snakes and nine turtles, survived the ordeal due largely to their location during the fire and their primitive lungs. The sole surviving mammal was a small mouse, which officials say they'll spare the usual fate of food for the other animals. But the irony of the moment was not lost on volunteers and crews who began cleanup efforts almost immediately. Only recently did officials finish clearing 50 acres of aspen and oak trees leveled July 18th by a tornado. So I think we've had our share now for a number of years, and, and hopefully we'll get cleaned up and then be able to just function normally. While cleanup crews rush to finish their job, the surviving animals will be stored for the next three days at Fridley City Hall, which in itself seems like a fair enough trade, since the Nature Center is a polling place in tomorrow's primary elections. Mike Strand, WCCO Television News, Springbrook Nature Center, Fridley. Fire officials tell us this evening that damage to the building has been estimated at $10,000. Minneapolis police are looking for a man who apparently tried to use his dog, a pig. ...and a spider on display. Investigators blame the fire on an electrical problem. This is the second disaster hit the Nature Center. The July 18th tornado tore up the grounds of the Nature Center, causing extensive damage. A fundraiser has been organized to help restore the Springbrook Nature Center, and that's set for September 27th and 28th. The $1 donation will be used to repair the Nature Center. The activities are planned at the center on 85th Avenue North. Still ahead, survival...